Greetings, YouTube. Uh, I have returned once again to uh, continue where I left off when I left many moons ago. Uh, this is a response to Neotropic. Uh, Neo, I missed you, to be completely honest. It has been such a long time since I made a video response to you, and such a long time since I've even communicated with you, and I feel bad. Honest, I do. I feel as if I left a, a, a part of me behind when I abandoned YouTube so long ago, but I'm back. Rest assured I'm back and you and me can get right back into it the way we used to in the good old days. Um, I know our connection was very, very minimal. It was only a handful of videos and all of them were mine. You never made a video response to me, which that hurts. It really does. I kind of thought maybe you, uh, you respected me a little bit. I mean, I got video, I got comments, comments, little respect. Little respect, probably not. That's okay. I'm a Christian. You're an anti-theist. Uh, I don't expect you to respect me. And to be honest, I'm losing a lot of respect for you. I really am. I really am. Uh, I'm a little... I'm very disappointed. I just watched your video, William Lane Craig Sucks, and I'm just sitting there going, he could do better. He could do better. He, he could do better. You know, he could do better. Neo, what's wrong with you, man? Where'd you go? What happened to the good old days when I would I would turn on, uh, I would log into YouTube and my subscriptions would be like, boom, you know, Neo's produced a new video and I would be excited because you were always, you're always into argumentation. You were always into discussion. You were always a part of the, of the marketplace of ideas, you know? Now, you're a sideshow act. You know, you are. You've, you've delved into posting videos that you can mock uh, to making obnoxious comments and to not – you're not a part of the discussion anymore, man. I mean even if you don't respect religious people, even if you really hate us as much as um, – I was just watching a video of yours of a radio host or whatever. I don't remember the guy's name. Uh, he was on Man Show, I think. Um, I don't know the guy very well. Uh, but, and, I mean, he was talking about how religious people are just crazy a-holes, you know, crazy retarded a-holes. And that's, it looks to me like that's what you've become. You're just a sideshow act. And I miss you, dude. I miss, I always wanted to start a conversation with you. I really did. I wanted it to be you and me, you know, it's a or neotropic, back and forth, you know, fighting for the good of truth. You know, the atheist versus the theist. The anti-theist versus the Christian. The feminist versus the, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not not a feminist, but I'm not a feminist. So environmentalist versus I don't believe in global warming. So you know what I mean? I mean you you and me are such contrary people, and I always thought that that maybe somehow I'd I'd make a video that would spark your interest, and you'd make a video, and we'd kind of get into it, you know, and something would come out of that, some truth would come out of that. But now I'm watching your videos, and I'm just disappointed. I'm just upset. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. So uh, I'm gonna do my best to uh, tell you what I'm what I'm upset about, and hopefully, hopefully, we can get you back on the right track. Or, uh, or I don't know what to do, man. I, I really I really respected you, and uh, anyway, enough of me being upset. Uh, I just wanted to talk about your video, uh, William Lane Craig sucks, where you brought in a discussion of his. Now I'm a big Lane Craig fan, though I don't agree with everything. Craig says, I do think a lot of his arguments are pretty solid. I've watched a lot of his debates. I've never really seen him lose a debate because most of his opponents are idiots. I'm sorry to say that. The atheist community, though considered to be the intelligentsia among us, are only uh, considered as such because most atheists have a college degree or a PhD. And to be completely honest, it doesn't make them all that smart. I've seen PhDs be royal idiots, and I've seen laymen be, gen excuse me, be geniuses. So uh, your uh, Dawkins argument that is in a different video is totally, totally non sequitur, and it's a little, it's a little retarded. But I digress. You pull this section out of Lane Craig's discussion, which one, I know Craig far too well to think that that is at all his central argument. That right there is side talk. It's playful banter at best, and. He starts it off by saying that he wanted to address an earlier point and an earlier idea that atheists are the intelligentsia among us. He is, in my opinion, if I had seen this whole clip, I could back it up, but you pull this clip out of context. You pull it 
I, that was what first got me. You pulled this clip straight out of context, and so I can't even begin to make a point off of it because it's ripped from its context. There's nothing I can compare it to. I can't understand what the conversation was even geared towards aside from what Craig starts talking about. And the fact that his opponent jumps right on into it makes me want to believe that this topic was actually, excuse me, was actually discussed. And so I have to wonder, why did you pull this out of context? What are you trying to prove, man? Why are you so hard on against religious people that you can't make a legitimate argument against Craig? Tackle one of his real arguments. Tackle the, the Kalam argument. That's his biggest argument. But no, you pull a video out of context where he is attacking an idea that I'm led to believe was brought up by his opponent just because of the way that the banter goes back and forth. And he, and by, he never once in the discussion says, you should become a Christian, you should be a theist because a whole bunch of philosophers did it. He's merely making the point that A, the idea that there is this intelligentsia among us being the atheists is wrong. It really is. And one of the big reasons is because new atheism is headed by a bunch of idiots. By the three main writers in the new atheism movement are just angry children. They're a scientist with a PhD in biology who happens to be a crappy philosopher. Sam Harris, who couldn't argue his way out of a paper bag and Ravi Zacharias put his uh, put Harris's own foot in his mouth because uh, with his book End of Reason, which I suggest you read, and Christopher Hitchens is just loud. He doesn't win debates. He screams until his opponent is quiet. That's all he does. These three gentlemen are not the intelligentsia among us. And then he goes on to make the point that the philosophers of the day are coming to Christianity, or at the very least, theism. He's making the point that the people that we do understand are the intelligentsia among us are coming to Christianity or at the very least theism. And that is his whole point, that the idea that the intelligentsia among us are atheists is wrong. He's not saying Christianity is true because of it. He's not saying theism is warranted because of it. He's simply making the point. That's all he's doing. And you rip this video completely out of context. It aggravates me. It really does. It upsets me because you were respected. You were respected by a lot of people. Veritas48 respected you. I know he did. I've seen videos where the two of you go back and forth. I have seen your discussions and you're a smart man. You're not stupid. I know you're not stupid, but you're making these videos where you're just taking things that you can mock and just making religious people out to be complete morons when there are some of us out there who are trying to promote truth, who are trying to come to understanding, and you're doing nothing but being an angry child. Stop it. I mean that. I respect, I don't know if my respecting you matters at all to you or if anyone's respecting you matters at all to you, but it's gone. It's out the window. The people who follow you now at this, at this point in time are angry atheists and trolls. I mean, I don't know of a Christian who's even mentioned you in the past six months, to be completely honest. I mean, I, I didn't flee from YouTube, but I definitely haven't been making videos and you're not among the discussion anymore. You really aren't. And that, that upsets me because I respected you and I wanted to get in a dialogue with you. And it, it seems to me that you've almost retreated to the sidelines with a with a, uh, a megaphone and you're just yelling curse words at us now. You've stopped participating in the game. And so I'm sorry if I seem a little aggravated, but I want you to get back into this, man. If there's any way I can coax you out of hiding uh, to put your face on a video again, to put your voice in a video again, and to stop being such an aggressively angry child. Stop it, please, for the sake of YouTube, for the sake of truth, and for the sake of your own good name, knock it off, you know, attack Craig's arguments, make sense, and stop being a troll, I feel like you're a troll, that's all you're doing, you're trolling religious people, you can do better than that, you can, I've seen you do it, okay, I'm sorry that I got angry, I apologize. I don't know what else you want from me. I really want to see you get back in the game, man. I really want to see something good come out of this because I know you can do it. I know you can do better. So please, if anything at all, give me a text comment to let me know that you at least saw this video and at least care. Please. Thank you. And to the rest of YouTube, Neotropic included, peace and God bless, guys. I'm out.